Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today I'm talking with David about his 2018 6.2 liter Silverado LTZ. He's got a crew cab short box and he's got a ton of really functional mods on there to help him with his hunting trips, his long road trips, and of course it's his daily driver. If you want to see his mods list and photos among other customers on the site to maybe get a better idea of what you can do to your truck in the future to get inspired, you can head to the customer build profile pages on American Trucks or if you're watching on YouTube, click the link below. Now subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all future content like this, product videos, and more. What do you say we connect with David? Thank you for joining me to talk about your truck. Uh, you sent along some pictures and I gotta say, first and foremost, you have a 2018 Silverado crew cab, 6.2 liter short bed LTZ, and it is absolutely beautiful. You did a really good job putting that together. Thank you, I appreciate that. But I'm taking a look at your mods list and it's just really tastefully modded. You've got some really nice functional pieces on there, some things that are changing up the appearance of the truck, but everything really seems to have a nice function on the truck. So I wanna just take you through that whole truck and maybe you can talk about maybe some of your decision-making process on why you picked some of those mods. Why did you land on that Silverado um, among some of the other options you had out there? Yeah, I, I had looked for quite a while for a new truck. I go to Canada every year to go goose and duck hunting. Oh, so nice. I need, yeah, I needed something that was big enough to handle everything for the long trip because I drive all the way up and all the way back. You know, it's 48 hours driving each way. So I needed wow. something that was pretty functional uh, in order to do that. <laughs> and it came with a lot of options already on it. So. The side steps, uh, the tires and wheels were, were part of the truck. The internal layout, and I wanted the short bed. I didn't really need a long bed. Now, aside from the Z71 package, which again comes with a lot of the stuff that you said you wanted, like the side steps there, um, you added on a couple of things that are going to take that off-road package a little bit further. And the first thing that jumped out at me was your Weston grill guard at the front end, the brush guard. So that's a category that's got so many different options, right? You have just bumpers, off-road bumpers, little bull bars that are a lot smaller, and then some of these bigger brush guards. So how'd you land on that particular Weston HDX? Going to Canada, I have to go through Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, a lot of antelope. And that was, I wanted something strong enough that if I hit one of those animals, um, it wouldn't damage the front of the truck. And I liked the looks of it. I thought it was one of the sexier looking uh, grill guards out there. I, re I really like it. You've got full grill protection with the mesh grill in the middle. You've got the bars that wrap around the headlights. So you you really got everything covered there. Exactly. That, one of the reasons why I got it. Absolutely. And it looks like you added on a light bar there too. I see. Um, is, it the, is that a rough country light bar? Yes, it is. Again, for driving at night hunting, some of the places we go, the growth is pretty heavy, so I needed something that could shine on both sides of the road uh, doing hog hunting. I do hog hunting too, so seeing a hog, I've got it set up on a remote control rather than wired. So I okay. hook the remote control up to the light, flash that on with the remote, and there they are. So we're talking real function. This isn't just something that looks pretty. This is, this is really getting used. Oh yeah, and I looked a long time at light bars to, to find something that would not only go just forward but off to the sides, which this light bar does. You got a ton of functionality on that front end. I'm, I'm a really big fan of that. Um, now, wrapping around to the sides, I know you, given that you have the Red Rock 4x4, the fender flares gives you that coverage, but it's also protecting from rocks and debris getting kicked up at your, your fenders. Well, and also door dings. Um, you know, oh, living, yeah. living in the city, uh, people just don't pay attention to the vehicle parked next to them. And it's really given me a peace of mind and not having to worry about the door dings from other vehicles that uh, might accidentally throw their door open or the wind catch it and put a ding in your wheel wells. With the uh, mud flaps, it helps keep the mud, especially when I'm off road, getting bumped up and whatnot. So. It, now, it's been really convenient from that perspective. Now, you have the stock wheels and you have the Z71 uh, all-terrain tires. Are you are you considering at all picking up a new set of wheels and tires? I'm at 45,000 miles on the truck, so I'm about due for a new set of tires here pretty soon. These four are pretty good. I like the all-terrain tires because of you know the hunting that I do, getting in and out of places that I couldn't get with just normal street tires. But that's one of the options that I've looked at in the future uh, when these tires get ready to be replaced. And I know you're going off-road a lot and the Z71's a little bit higher up and it's got, you know, the suspension taken care of, but would have you considered upgrading to a leveling kit or a lift kit in that sense to, to help you out? If I was going to look at upgrading the tires, I'd probably put a, um, a lift on it first before I put the tires on it. 
Absolutely, and you would at least need to do them uh, hand in hand, if not just tackle the lift kit first, just because you don't want to cause any problems with that, you know, turning radius and whatnot, especially if it's your daily driver. If you're putting hundreds of miles a week, you know, you want to make yeah. it comfortable. Exactly right, and you don't want to have to worry about something like the tires hitting the mud flaps or the wheel wells. And guys, keep in mind, if you want to check out David's list of mods along with some of the photos of his truck, you can definitely click the link below if you're watching on YouTube or head to his customer build profile on the site. Now, kind of keeping, you know, wrapping around that truck, go back to the rear, a tonneau cover. It's one of the biggest things or one of the first things that most truck owners pick up, aside from side steps, would be a tonneau cover. It looks like you've got a WeatherTech roll-up tonneau cover. Well, I'm pretty, uh, pretty big on WeatherTech. You can see from the list of, of options that I've put on it, uh, WeatherTech makes really good products. Um, I don't care whether you're buying the liners for the sun or the floor. Uh, I really like the WeatherTech product, they're good. And one of the problems with some of the other ones was they didn't have the support for the tonneau cover like the WeatherTech does. It has the roll bars in between to keep it pretty solid. I also looked at the fold up ones, but I needed the full length of the bed given that it's a short bed. So having the roll up is such a, that's such a good point to make that you can roll it all the way back and get the entire bed. Um, now keeping on the WeatherTech theme, I know you said you're a big WeatherTech fan and that pretty much shows in your mods list. So going inside the vehicle, you have WeatherTech floor liners. And I think that's just a must for a lot of truck owners, especially ones who are going off-roading, going hunting, campsite, things like that. You're gonna trek in some of that mud and dirt and all of that. So you've got the floor liners front and rear. Now your rear floor liners, do they extend into the uh, underside of your back seats? Yes, they do. Fully covered all the way back as far as it could go underneath the back seats, which is really good. I couldn't ask for any more. They're very easy to clean up. You know, it collects the dirt, the mud, especially when you're coming in from duck hunting and you've got your waders on and you don't want the uh, carpet in your truck getting all wet and muddy. That's one of the things that makes such a difference on inside that truck owners like uh, kind of be finicky with their trucks. You don't want everything getting dirty and those weather techs definitely go a long way. Yeah, it helps on resale too, you know. They got the original carpet there, looks clean. Not that I probably wouldn't leave the weather techs in it, but it's a good selling point when you get ready to sell your truck. And it just goes to show that it's just a truck owner that takes care of the truck. Still with that weather tech, you've got weather tech full vehicle tech shade. Now I don't see that very often. You normally see just the front windshield, but the tech shade, if I understand correctly, it's basically that front windshield cover, but for every window in the truck. Is that correct? That's right, and um, I leave my truck parked outside. I live in Texas, and we have sun 90% of the time down here. And the previous truck I had, I did not have uh, the window shades in it, and the dash you know, started cracking from the sun. The seats would fade. Um, you know, It just was not a good thing for the inside of the truck. So that was one of the first things that I bought was the sun shades for all around because of the sun here in Texas being so warm and so prevalent all year round rather than just in the summertime. But you've got to do it for every window. Is that not a pain in the butt that gets annoying after a while? No, it really isn't. Uh, especially when you look at the alternative of not having them. You know, you walk into a truck that's uh, 130 degrees, you know, those shades keep the temperature down considerably. I was impressed as to how easy they go in. I'll bet you I can put all six of them in in under a minute. I mean, it doesn't take any time at all. WeatherTech has designed them really well to fit. You just press them into the window and you're good to go. So but down here, I use them every single day because I leave my truck parked outside. It's not in the garage. Like I said, beautiful truck. I really appreciate you taking the time out to talk to me about this. I mean, you've got a lot of function put into your truck. Not only is it super functional, but it looks great. Um, so thank you for taking the time out to talk to me about you know everything you got going on with your 18. Well, thank you for asking me. It was my pleasure. And if you ever upgrade things in the future, I want to have you back on and talk about it. <laughs> All right, man. Sounds good. Thank you. David, thank you very much. Have a good one. That's going to wrap this one up. I just talked to David about his 2018 Silverado LTZ with the 6.2 Crew Cab Short Box. Now, if you want to check out his mods list and his photos of his truck, you can head to his customer build profile page on americantrucks.com. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can click the link below to head right to it. Now, subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date for future content like this, product videos, and Silverado news. Keep it right here at americantrucks.com.